गुड मॉर्निंग इन दिस लेक्चर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन एलईडी आई मीन लाइट इन एंड इन देयर सम प्रॉब्लम्स सो दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ एलईडी आई मीन अगेन हियर इट इज अ पीएन जंक्शन डायोड इट इज अंडर द फॉरवर्ड बायस फॉरवर्ड बायस सो एज वी नो देयर इज अ रिकॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन अनवर्ड व्हेन द रिकॉम्बिनेशन हैपेंस द लाइट इमिट्स so these are the emitted photons or lights <laughs> so in forward bias pn junction diode recombination of electrons and was takes place at the junction and within the body of crystal particularly at the location of crystal defect so a crystal defect in the sense it happens due to imperfection of regular geometrical arrangement of the crystalline solid that means this imperfection is due to deformation of solid or a uh, rapid cooling of high temperature cooling from high temperature or due to high energy radiation okay fine so yeah this is due to at the crystal defect due to uh, deformation of solid there will be a recombination of electron and uh, holes emits the lights and this is like another way we represent the emission of light in the pn junction and observe the diagram upon the capture of free electron by hole electron goes into new state that means and its kinetic energy is given off as a e down as a light so especially in silicon diode most of the energy is given off as a heat but in other uh, materials such as gas gallium arsenide or uh, gallium phosphide sufficient number of photons i mean in the form of light are generated and creates a visible source so the process of emission of light in a pn junction is known as electroluminescence so here in the structure see uh, metal contact for p material is made very small it permits emergence of a maximum number of photons so light lumens generated per watt of electric power is i so intensity of light increases almost linearly with the forward current depending on the material used the voltage levels of led is 1.7 volt to 3.3 volt which is compatible with the solid state circuit and the response time is uh, very short that is uh, in terms of few nanosecond and light contrast is good and it emits uh, red green orange or blue color light so let's see application of led so we found the many applications in the display devices so led led is fine several applications in uh, display devices that means in uh, eight segment display of numbers 0 to 9 this is a eight segment display actually we call it is a seven segment display except this uh, dot okay this is also an led remaining that so there are uh, seven uh, led is required so we also call it as seven segment led and the numbers are displayed like this okay the corresponding see it is zero i mean to display zero these leds are named as a b c d e f g g is off the remaining all on to display one b and c is on the remaining all off like that so also we use this led in a led tvs so this is about application of light emitting diode the diode which emits the light i mean when the recombination of poles and electrons occurs it exits a light so next photocoupler it is a package of led and photodiode so this is led and this is photodiode so the circuits are electrically isolated that means led is forward biased and photodiode is with observe the diagram it is reverse biased and it is forward biased okay so output is uh, uh, considered across the resistor r2 so key advantage is uh, used to isolate the circuit, electrical circuits and so it is employed in the circuit whose output voltage levels are um, differ by Several thousand volts. So this is about photocoupler. 
now we'll discuss some problems which are appeared in the exam see the question a polyuric dipper uses two diodes two diodes in the sense it is center tapered rectifier the diodes are internal resistance 20 ohm so the transformer rms secondary voltage from the center to each end is 50 volt that means one end 50 volt center tap is zero and another end 50 volt find im that is maximum current irms idc and bdc if the load is 980 ohm this is the question so first you list the required i mean sorry uh, the given values we have given so they specified transformer rms so v rms is equal to 50 volt and rl is equal to 980 ohm and rf is equal to that is a uh, uh, diode resistance 20 ohm and then list what is asked to find that is im and the corresponding formula is vm divided by rf plus rs plus rf and irms is equal to im by root 2 idc is equal to 2 im by pi for polyvalent pi and uh, vdc is equal to 2 em by pi so here uh, we require to find vm vm so as we know vrms is equal to vm by root 2 so that is equal to 0.7 and 7 of vm here uh, we, so from this expression we can find vm is equal to vrms by 0.707 substitute vrms and obtain vm so vm is equal to 70.72 volt and substitute this vm in the im expression and rf is given rs is not given means it is 0 and rl is 980 ohm then it is im 70.72 then you substitute this IM in IRMS expression, you will obtain IRMS value. Okay. Again, substitute uh, the IM value in IDC, you will get IDC value. And by substituting VM value uh, in VDC expression, you will get uh, VDC. Clear okay. now? Yeah. So, similarly, you see one more uh, uh, example. A full single phase full wave rectifier supplies a power to load 1 kilo volt. AC voltage applied to the diode is 300 0 300 volt. If the diode resistance is 25 and the tap transform secondary is negligible, determine the load current or its load voltage and rectification efficiency. Yeah. Yes, we observed in the previous problem. So first we have to list the given uh, values. Given values. Uh, that is VRMS. In the given, uh, the previous example, they specified VRMS. But here they have not specified. They have said 300, 0, 300. Means one end 300. Center tap 0. And another end is 300. That means that given value is VRMS. And RL is 1 kilo ohm. RF is 25. And then uh, what is asked to find average load current that means idc and this is the corresponding formula and uh, average load voltage that is vdc and the corresponding formula for full wave rectifier and uh, rectification efficiency this is the formula for rectification efficiency and again we know we need a vm and im so calculate vm from vrms so vrms is equal to vm by root 2 from this again uh, vm is equal to root 2 into vrms substituting vrms value so you will get vm is equal to a maximum voltage is equal to 424.26 volt and sub and im is equal to you know the formula im by sorry vm by rf uh, plus rs plus r substitute the values and you will get im value and substitute this im in idc so this is corresponding IDC and similarly substitute VM in VDC so you will get VDC value and similarly by substituting the values of RL, RF, RS and R so you will get a rectification efficiency right so here important is we need to list the given value and the required value and how do we get the intermediate values and see this question 
half year rectifier. Okay, the given question half year rectifier is a SW whose internal resistance is 30 ohm to supply power to 1.1 kilo ohm. That means load resistor uh, from 110 volt. That means in bracket I specify RMS of source supply. Calculate DC load voltage, DC load current, AC load current, and percent is regulation. Again, this is the given and the required to find DC load voltage and the corresponding formula. So, in this, again, uh, Vm is required now. So, from the given VRMS, we can find Vm value that is 155.56. That you substitute in VDC. So, you will get VDC. And the next required value is I, uh, load current, DC load current. The current. This is the corresponding formula. So, it requires IM. So find IM using the formula IM is equal to Vm by Rf plus Rf plus R. So substitute the values and you will get IM value. That you substitute in IDC, you will get IDC value. Similarly, uh, AC load current, AC load current. Okay, that means uh, we. So we have a formula for I, IRMS and IDC. We don't have formula for IAC. So as we know, IRMS square is equal to IDC square plus IAC square. So from this, we can obtain the expression for IAC. So that is IAC is equal to square root of IRMS square minus IDC square. Substitute IRMS and IDC. So we don't know IRMS. So find first IRMS for a rectifier is IM by root 2. Substituting the values, you will get IRMS. Then you substitute IRMS value and IDC value in IAC. So this is the corresponding IAC value. And the percentage regulation. So RF is RF by RL into 100%. So substitute the values and this is the regulation. And similarly, see this question. Uh, of a rectifier, supply voltage is uh, 230. Step down transformer, they specified step down transformer in the ratio is 3.1 to a resist to load of 10 kilo ohm. Uh, the diode forward resistance is 75 ohm and the transformer secondary is 10 ohm. Calculate DC current, DC voltage, efficiency, and ripple factor. So, given is transformer ratio, I mean step down ratio. N1 is the number of windings and the N2 is the number of windings of secondary. That means so more number of windings in primary and less number of windings in a second. That is why we call it a step down transformer. So the given is the given is voltage applied to the primary. Supply voltage is applied to the primary. That's why we say uh, VP voltage across the primary. And RL is 10 kilo ohm, RF is 75 ohm, and secondary transformer resistance also given. That is RS is equal to 10 ohm. So now we know uh, we up, uh, to the diode we apply secondary voltage. So we need to find out the secondary voltage. Okay. So this is the uh, required to be find IDC and VDC efficiency and ripple factor. So these are the values to be find out. So first we need to find out Vm. So first we need to find out voltage across the secondary. That means so as we know, this is the N1 divided by N2 is equal to N VP voltage across the primary divided by voltage across the secondary. From this, we can find the expression for uh, Vs is equal to that is uh, root mean square value N2 by N1 into voltage across the primary VP. By substituting the values, you will get voltage across the secondary is 76.6. That means this is step down so primary voltage is 230 and that is get uh, step down by uh, 7 76.66 volt so this is vrms okay uh, root mean square value of the secondary voltage secondary transformer so from this we can find vm value okay. so vm is equal to 108.41 that you substitute in im expression so you will get im value is 10.75 milliamp. So substitute IM value in IDC. So this is uh, IDC. Similarly, VM value in VDC. 
and this is uh, a VDC value and substitute RN RF for S in uh, efficiency expression so this is efficiency and uh, we need to find out IRMS value so to obtain the ripple factor we need to find out IRMS value so as we know IRMS is equal to <coughs> VRMS by RF plus RS plus RL RS we can use uh, VRMS is equal to VM by root IM by root 2 IRMS is equal to IM by root 2 I can expression so this is the value 76 7.6 milliamps then substitute these values in a ripple factor so this is the ripple factor okay. so similarly uh, this is also same question okay. your strong uh, primary uh, winding is 4 and secondary winding is 1 I mean the ratios let's see the solution this is the given okay dc power output is required i mean uh, dc power is equal to pdc is equal to idc square into rl and rectification is the corresponding formula and uh, peak inverse voltage that is corresponding formula is 2 pm and idc so we need to find out idc first to obtain the idc we need im so to obtain im we need uh, vm so again as we followed in the previous we can obtain uh, vrms value first and then uh, vm value so substitute vm value in uh, im so this is im substitute im in uh, idc so this is idc and substitute this idc in pdc so this is pdc and substitute the resistance values so this is efficiency rectification efficiency and the peak inverse voltage okay, okay. <coughs> uh, see this uh, question uh, the input to fully rectifier is expressed as expression so v of t is equal to 200 sine omega t i mean now 50 t uh, if rl is 1 kilo ohm and power of resistance is 15 find the following with the things to be asked find so solution see uh, the given is v of t is equal to 200 sine uh, 50 t rl is equal to 1 ohm kilo ohm rf is equal to 15 so by comparing so this is the standard expression so v of t is equal to vm sine omega t so by comparing this so vm is equal to 200 volt 200 volt okay so again substituting the vm to im expression this is im and then dc current through the circuit i mean high dc high dc full rectifier uh, to im by pi substitute im value you will get idc and similarly uh, second rms value of current that is uh, im by root 2 substitute im you will get irms and dc output voltage vdc is equal to idc into rl so substitute the values you will get vdc value and similarly <coughs> dc power output so pdc as we collected in the previous form of example so substitute idc value and this is pdc okay and ac power inputs uh, p is equal to i rm square into rf plus rl substitute the values and this is pac and rectification efficiency uh, can also be defined as uh, the original formula power uh, DC power divided by AC power into 100. So we know DC power as well as AC power substitute and this is efficiency. So for this uh, I am going to stop. So thank you.